Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you hope you've been grand and all the world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, is well, as you can read from the title, getting the machine gun tone, Jimi Hendrix's machine gun tone, from the boss katana. So, the machi machine gun is my favourite Jimi Hendrix song. It just is. Bar none, G machine gun is just a masterpiece. It's. It's it's dark. It's heavy. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. But Jimmy's guitar screams and cries in pain. It's just a masterclass in expression, and just everything. It's just everything. It's exhausting to listen to. Uh, I find just because it's so heavy. You know what he's what he's singing about. What he how, the way his guitar sounds. What he's trying to uh, get across with his guitar tone. You know, uh, bombs going off, machine guns. You know, it's it's a it's a you know it's a protest song against what was going on in America at the time. And my God, is it a hell of a protest song? You know, it really is incredible. And again, it's my favourite Jimi Hendrix song of all time. And the Fillmore East versions, which is what we're focusing on today, is my favourite tone Jimmy ever had on this song. In and in general, really. I mean, I love Jimmy's tone, but the machine gun tone with the uni vibe. Oh my God. So I decided I want to try. I want to try and get close to this sound, this tone as I, as, as humanly possible. It's never going to be a hundred percent. It just, you just, it can't be. It's impossible, you know. But I, I was determined to get as close as I could, and I feel I got rather close. People of the tube, I say, I'll let you, um, let you figure it uh, out. Well, let you, let you uh, hear for your own self at the end of the bit. But I will show you what I did and the EQ settings I used before we get to that. Before I play. So anyway, um. So yeah, so I thought I'm going to use the Katana because it's the jack of all trades. You know what I mean? It's got inbuilt effects. I know it's got a uni vibe in there, which is my favourite uni vibe I've ever heard. Uh, and I just love the reverbs. I love the, the overdrives. And I just thought it would be the perfect amp to get this sound from. And my God, to, to me, I felt like I picked very, very wisely. You picked wisely, not poorly. Anyway, um... But yeah, it just it just seemed to work. It really did. So uh, I will say one thing straight off the bat is I didn't use I only used the tone studio for one thing when getting this sound, and that was just to assign the uni vibe, uh, because when you get a Boss Katana, there is a, there is a uni vibe in the amp, but you need to actually go into the tone studio to basically engage it. And so basically, what I did, and I just I just assigned it to the FX portion of the katana and i did it on my mark one artist i did it on my mark uh sorry mark two artist i did it on my mark 100 watt and i did it on my mark uh 150 watt and funny enough the eq setting i found for machine gun works on both that all all amps all my amps are set up the same way for this sound all my katanas are set up the same way so the setting i'll show you today is the setting i use on my mark one so it's no different but I say I only used the Tone Studio to get the uni vibe. That was it. Everything else was from a front panel. I didn't use the Tone Studio to affect the EQ or anything like that. It was all from front panel. So or top panel if you're using the mark, uh, if you're using the uh, not the artist. So like I say, it's my favourite tone. I had to get as close as I could, and I was not going to just settle for kind of that'll do. So I feel I've got as close as I can get personally without, you know having a free Marshall super leads, a fuzz, a, a modded fuzz face, and Jimmy, apparently Jimmy's Marshalls are modded, I agree. Uh, you know, a modded Stratocaster, all that stuff. There was no way, you know, I feel I've got as close as I could ever get. So people of tube, let me know. At the end of the video, I'll play a bit of it and let me know what you think. But let me show you how I got the setting first. So, um, one of the main important things about the machine gun tone is to have your guitar in D standard. So down tuned a whole tone. Not half step, down tuned a whole tone. So D. Nice tuning. It's really dark. And that's what Jimmy was in in the Fillmore East version. It's like it's D standard. And it's really, it always makes me laugh because that show they started off with Who Knows? And Who Knows is in standard tuning. And a machine gun's in D standard. So Jimmy literally started the gig in standard tune. And the second song in, he down tunes all the way to D standard. And then the next song, he tunes up to E flat. Anyway, I love it. I love that. 
Anyway, but D standard is really important to machine gun. It really is. It's such an important tone. Uh, tonality, should I say, more, more than anything. You need your guitar in D standard. So that's that. And I find D standard is really musical anyway. I think it uh, it really outweighs E flat and uh, standard tuning, to be honest with you, standard 440. Anyway, so that's another thing. Another thing that's really important to a machine gun tone is neck single coil pickup. Uh, it doesn't have to, it doesn't you know it doesn't matter what kind of pickup it, uh, single coil it is, but it does have to be a single coil. Humbuckers just don't they don't have the right attack. They really don't. So and Jimmy. I think he did. He does use his bridge pickup briefly in Machine Gun, but predominantly he's on the neck pickup of his Black Strat. Um, so that that that's another important thing. So D standard neck pickup. So that's where we want to be going with the guitar. It's really important when dialing in this tone to be in D standard and be on your neck pickup. It really is. So let's get to the amp. So I went for the lead amp type on the on both on all my guitars because I find it's got the more the most Kind of plexi-ish breakup when you when you start dying in the tone and in the gain. Sorry, so I went for the lead mode. So that's the amp type we're going to use. Uh, gain I set at eleven o'clock. So gain is at eleven o'clock. Volume is all the way up on ten. Bass, middle, treble I have on zero. Okay, so they're all on zero. So they're basically neutral or off, if you will. Um, booster mod. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Then, like I say, I, I assigned the Univibe to the effects uh, section of the amp. So I can roll that in. And I find it works best somewhere between 1 and 2 o'clock. It doesn't want to be really fast. The Univibe in Machine Gun, he actually has it set fairly slow. Although Jimmy does actually mess about with the expression, but I'll make it go faster and slower. But predominantly, it's quite slow, and it's just pulsing behind what he does. And I find somewhere between... One o'clock and two o'clock is kind of where it needs to be. But again, you can mess around with this to your heart's content. Um, reverb, I have reverb on Duster basically, so it's not so dry and horrible, basically. I just I like to have reverb. And I normally have quite a lot of reverb in, just to give it that kind of sound that Jimmy had in the film or East with the natural reverb of the of the room. And um, so that's how I have reverb. Presence, I have said 12 o'clock. And this is basically adding the sparkle. This is adding like the you know the fairy dust on top of this of the tone basically, so I have presence at twelve o'clock, uh, and then basically that's it. You know that is literally it, uh, and that is the setting I have on all my katanas. On the artist, um, I don't have variation on uh, the tone shape. I just have off, and I have the cab resonance resonance on modern, and that's it. Uh, other than that, on the Mark ones, that is what I have. So I have it on the lead mode. Gain is at 11 o'clock. Volume is at, uh, all the way up. Bass, middle, treble, all on zero. Booster, we'll talk about that in a minute, is not well, it's not used until the solo. Mod, I don't use the mod because that's chorus on this setup for me. Uh, then I have a Univibe on the effects mode and I set that up somewhere between one and two o'clock. Again, mess around, it's great fun. Uh, reverb I have set at two o'clock and it's just a spring reverb I have set on both amps. Presence is at 12 o'clock. Uh, vol master volume is wherever you want it to be so you don't kill yourself because these amps are loud. So, and that sounds... I mean, if I just turn the Univibe off for a second, the core sound is like this. Well, hopefully I'll pick it up. I'm just on room mic today, but again, you'll hear it at the end uh, properly. You know, uh, DI'd actually. It'd be coming straight from the amp. It'd be line out from the amp into the camera. It won't be any microphones. Just let you hear it as clean as possible. So that's how that is. So if now I've had the Univibe in. So again, I'm going to put it at one o'clock to start with. That's normally a good place to start. It does that. <laughs> Say more. I would say it sounds better more between twelve o'clock and one o'clock. Actually, I'm, I've kind of mixed myself up there. A bit. So about half twelve, if you will. 
channel. So somewhere between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, that's where you want it. <laughs> And again, that reverb, that spring reverb, just adds a little bit of kind of like more room sound to it. it. Just makes it sound a little less dry. Without the reverb, it sounds really sterile. And I don't really like it. So putting the reverb about two o'clock ish. <laughs> and that's what it sounds like and that to me sounds really or as close as i could ever want to get to that tone like i said i don't know how well it'll come across on the room mic but i'll say bear with me people of youtube at the end of the vid uh, i actually play it so uh, and it's di'd out of the amp as well so you're not going to hear a microphone you're just going to hear the line out the amp sound so that sounds really close to me so let's talk about the solo quickly so booster is what i use on that one basically it's just the green drive cranked i put it at, well not cranked i put it at 12 o'clock <laughs> You don't need any more gain than that because it, it's quiet at this point in time but i mean that's still as much gain as you need to do one of those solos but together it, all that together it just sounds so close to me like i said i don't know how well to pick up on the room mic but it sounds really good it feels great and it really does feel like a, a cranked plexi you know it, it's got that kind of right amount of kind of grit if you will especially when you add in the, the boost <laughs> You know, it, do, it just feels and sounds really close to me. Again, uh, use these settings as a jumping off point your your you, your finds may vary just use these as a set i can't guarantee that this you plugging your guitar into your katana artist or your mark one katana will get this exact tone because my guitar's different my leads are different you know the room's different uh, my amp is different you know but using these to these these settings i've told you use them as a jumping off point if you want to go after this tone because my god is it an awesome tone it's so powerful it really is and again having your guitar in d standard just gives it such a dark dark thing because you're basically playing in d minor the saddest of all keys you know so it just gives it such a a, a vibe and, a, and an atmosphere and i just love it you know, and the Univibe just... The Univibe and his katanas is easy. One of the best Univibes I've ever heard. <laughs> it's just insanely good. I actually have it saved on uh, my katana in... Um, in my channel freeze basically my jimmy channel that's my chorus which uh I use for stuff like angel but anyway but yeah so anyway people of youtube there you go that's the settings i have to the uh, getting the machine gun tone out of the boss katana and it does <laughs> You can also add, if you if you go for the solo, you can also add a delay on if you want. I know Jimmy didn't use a delay, but it does sound immense, and I'm sure he would if he did have one. Anyway, 
that's it, people with tube. Um, I'm still getting short I'm just trying to get your, used to these short videos. It's throwing me for a loop. Anyway, there you go. I feel I got really co close. People with tube, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And like I said, I'm going to play you out now playing Machine Gun with this tone. We're going to go line out of the amp. We're not going to be micing the cab up. We're just going to go line out. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this kind of like helps. Like I say, use it as a jumping off point. Some people this will work. Some people it won't. So just bear that in mind as you know, use it as that kind of like jumping off point. Anyway, I hope this video has made sense. I'm terrified about these short videos that I'm not doing enough or I'm not I'm jumbling my words or I'm going too fast. So let me know if this video is okay as well, please, people of YouTube, if you can, because I'm not sure. Um, also, I need to say I need to start saying at the end of every video now. Uh, if you want to support the channel, in the description box below there is a link to my Patreon. So uh, if you want to support me. Uh, then uh, support this channel, please go to that link there and uh, I appreciate it very much indeed. The Patreon's on there at this point in time. You mean the world to me. Thank you so much indeed. I really appreciate your support. It really does make such a massive difference, especially at this time of YouTube being weird and uh, just being just, um, well, just odd. I don't really know where it's going. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, uh, help, you know, support me in, in doing these videos, then please go to the link and consider maybe becoming a Patreon. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching this video, everybody. Uh, have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Very much indeed. Goodbye. <laughs>